This is the Magic Mouse. If it's magic, I think it's kind of magic with the touch features. I think it's great with the scrolling, sideways, everything, but it's ergonomically a nightmare. So I transitioned over to the obvious choice, the MX Master 3. Now you can see that ergonomically, one actually has ergonomics, the other one doesn't. So while I kind of figured that, okay, the days are over for this one, I just saw an interesting, I think it was an ad for mouse base. Now mouse base took the problem of the ergonomics, made a base, added support for mirrors so the laser would go through, and then there's this little knob here that's using the lightning port, slice it in just like that. Now looking at it, you might say that this kind of resembles the Logitech MX Master 3 that I just talked about. However, it's got this longer shape because of the nature of the Apple mouse. Now it's hard to build anything around the Apple mouse because of how long it is. It's kind of basically just any mouse length. So one, it's a bit long. And two, you don't have that grip that you get with the MX Masters. So, will it actually work? I mean, is this enough to give me that ergonomic benefit that these other mice have? I don't know, let's figure it out. Now I would give this packaging a 10 out of 10 if it had anything inside, but then it's kind of like a five out of 10. In the box, you will find the mouse base itself and a tips and troubleshoot guide. But if you have the old Apple mouse with the batteries, you cannot use this product. So to adjust the pointer speed, you would go into settings and mouse. You can see there's a slider over there. To access the mouse shake feature, you go into accessibility and then display. There's also an on off switch there that you can turn it off. I've never experienced issues with that, to be honest, but if you do, that's at least where you would fix that. Okay, so I've been using this setup for a little while. I've tried to kind of grow into using it. Like I said in the introduction, it's a bit long because you can see just how much bigger the base is. Um, and to me, the MX Masters uh, Master 3 is perfect. And uh, whatever's, whatever's left of this glass mouse that didn't actually break, it, I see the idea and maybe if you have bigger ends than I have, uh, and you don't need that actual curved grip, maybe this can work for you. I'm probably gonna stick with the Master 3, the MX Master 3 for Mac, the actual official name, the MX Master 3, just because I'm kind of used to that grip. However, I really like that companies are trying to deal with the ergonomics of the Magic Mouse because Apple clearly is not interested. And we've seen many more attempts like you have that ball thing one i i haven't tried that out maybe i should so yeah if you want to try this out for yourself there's a link in the why did they make it so slippery but, i mean this could work for you if you want to try it out just go for it didn't really work for me but may maybe it'll work for you i don't know try everything once right twice to check if this is really that bad. So I'm gonna try it twice. Peace.